come up to the car. When it's been parked, it will sense your approach. It'll light everything up as a welcome. The front DRLs will do their pulse thing and then the headlights turn on. And then when you get in the vehicle, the ambient lighting is already going. Let's open her up. Let me show you the startup sequence on the central screen here. That's really cool. And it fades into the Cadillac logo. That's awesome. This week we're spending a couple of days with the brand new 2021 Cadillac Escalade. And I am so excited because this thing is properly impressive. It was dropped off yesterday. I spent a bit of time with the vehicle, but it was late last night. So we'll be filming a living with the new Cadillac Escalade vlog and we'll do the full review. I've already discovered some of the amazing technology. Really looking forward to sharing it. But this, this vehicle is incredible so far. In the center point are these giant OLED screens. And you can see in the middle right now, I have the AR camera. I will set up the navigation so we can see how the AR interacts. Check this out. I've got navigation running. It's telling me to turn right here. Earlier, it was just showing which lane. See the giant blue arrows just floating in an intersection? Augmented reality. This is amazing. And I also have it in my heads up display. You can see it kind of far off in the distance there showing what lane to be in. We'll cruise along with augmented reality navigation. Check this out, pulling into work. Right turn on the blue arrows and we have the red destination icon. And we have arrived. That is properly awesome. And to park, engine off. That was without a doubt the most serene and relaxing drive commute to work that I've had this entire year. Man, this thing is awesome, but we need to get into a meeting, so we'll pick this up shortly. Nighttime, when you approach the Escalade, unlock. The lights do this cool little dance. You have the side lighting. I'm giving Andrew a ride home because his RS7 is uh, non-functional for some reason. Why are these lights on? You didn't close your door, did you? Is there a door open? Oh, why is th that door is open? What did you do? I didn't. You, no, I didn't go to that side. I did you open that door? No. No? Well, why would I, open that door? I don't know. Why is it open? It's on your side of the car. This was actually my plan. I'm going to steal the car. <laughs> oh. Dude, that must have been open all this time. That's weird. Oh, soft close. It has soft close, yeah. Uh. See, now the lights should turn off. Just dropped off Andrew back in Escalade. I'm heading back to the office. I have a little bit more work to do, but I am just so blown away by the interiors and the screen. Interiors? Singular. Interior and the screen. Screens is plural. Touchscreen there, giant OLED screen there, another curved OLED screen. This thing is awesome. I've still got heated seats, massage seats. I'm spending all day filming this Escalade tomorrow, so we'll talk a lot about the technology interior. I will do a full tour, test out the back seat space, which is actually quite ample, but currently cruising my way in comfort with massage. Back to the office, a little bit more work to do. I'm actually not objecting driving this thing anymore, so when I got asked to give a ride back home, I'm like, right on it. Look at this ambient lighting too. Premium. Here's another question you may or may not have ever asked yourself. How fast is the new Escalade? Let's see. Well, I mean, it's very, very big. This is a very, very big vehicle. 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. I believe it makes 420 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. 10 speed automatic transmission and weighs as much as a small apartment building so not the fastest in a straight line but it's got enough power for like passing and just getting off the line and going but you definitely feel the giant heft of this enormous enormous luxury suv slash sort of truck thing oh we just missed that startup sequence i have to show that again later we're in the car now it's fairly late did a workout finish up work time to head home had the Escalade running with remote start. One big perk of American cars is they almost always have remote start. Like a brand new SQ8, RS7, RS6, no remote start. And in a cold, wintry, like 31 degree day out here, remote start is nice. Before we get going, there is something I wanna show. If we go home and we go to settings, and we go to vehicle, 
we can go to lighting in our ambient lighting we have this like display mode demo mode and it goes through all the different colors it cycles through so we have some in the footwell we have this long line across the dash and then on both of the doors it's pretty cool I have the brightness turned all the way up seat heater and seat massage immediately upon entering the car but as soon as you go into drive it goes away so let's pick go back to blue blue's always nice today is film the escalade review day but before we pull out the fancy cameras we're going to do an entire tour of the amazing interior to this cadillac escalade I've got some music playing this 36 speaker akg audio system is amazing speaker all of this across that dash of the speaker. Turn her down for a second. Very nice semi-aniline leather covering all the seats and surfaces. We have speakers in the headrest. Speakers in the headrest. That is awesome. You can control how loud the sound in the passenger seat is relative to the rest of the vehicle with that sound system. The beautiful OLED screens. The clarity is just amazing. This is regular dash mode. We can go to AR or map. You've seen the AR, I've demonstrated that a bit. We've got this set on like the surround mode. The clarity is amazing. Other things of interest on this interior. We've got full suede. I don't know if it's Brandon Alcantara, but it's all suede here, leather, wood. And then we also have this cloth finish that is a very, very cool texture. I like it. It's a very, it's way better than just plastic. If you have like the kind of soft touch plastic or anything, this is actually pretty cool. And you have it on the center too. More storage space. We've got some keys there, a cable. Complaints. This is shared with a Cadillac CT5, which is half the price. Same thing, this trunk opening rotary dial knob thing, I think is exactly the same as was in the Chevy Blazer. Uh, cool thing is that we have seat controls back here. So, see the third row is back. Oh, I have tripods and stuff there. Oh, I can open this one, I can close this one. Ready, pressing the button. Wee! Convenience, and it goes up too. That's luxury, not having to do anything. On the left side, we have four-wheel drive controls here. We have the driving mode. So there is tour, sport, off-road, tow, haul. Uh, let's see, what else do we have on this side? We have air suspension controls. We can raise and lower our air suspension. Let's let's go all the way, uh, yeah, let's go all the way up, see what that looks like. And then below that, we have some trailer sway controls, looks like, I think, uh, the parking brake, and then up here, we've shown you that touchscreen there, which allows you to uh, control your heads-up display, positioning of it. You could barely see it out there. The brightness. This is very convenient because you can have your trip odometer immediately available. Tap it to change their second trip. 9.4 MPG? No wonder. It's got three quarters of a tank. The Escalade has a 24 gallon fuel tank. The ESV has an even bigger one, but this is a 24 gallon and it shows 190 miles to empty because, oh my. Well, that's not good. <laughs> it is big. Heated and cooled seats. Heating, you can have front, uh, the back and the seat, and then you can have just the back. I've got the massage seats going, which is the button on the bottom. Buttons that are shared with the rest of the GM family. This steering wheel stuff here is the same as other Cadillacs, I think. Maybe the same as just like regular GMs. I don't remember. I should, because I was just in one. This little ear button. You press that and it like projects your voice to the back of the car, which is really cool. This is your regular voice command, volume stuff here, all trimmed in nice leather that matches everything else. We have wireless charging here. It's not a pad, it's, you actually slide it in. It's got some resistance and your phone slots right in. And you'll see if it's charging there, the little icon shows. Whoa, what did I just do? Um, oh, I don't wanna move stuff around. That was an accident. I held that for too long. More storage here. I've got my other phone there, some USB ports, cup holders. And then when you open this, even more ports. This is a refrigerator, not a cooler, not just a storage bin. It's a refrigerator. You can refrigerate things, but it's currently 35 degrees out. So I don't actually need to refrigerate anything. Continuing to the passenger side, more of that cloth trim on the glove box here. 
And then you get kind of the layers approach of leather, some glossy wood trim, a nice pattern through it, some lines through it. The air vents across the middle. These climate controls are nice. I actually like that there's physical buttons and then a very clear screen to show. And look how quickly and smoothly it changes. You toggle up, toggle down, turn it off if you want, turn it back on. This entire thing is a screen, so that's well executed. I think Cadillac learned from the debacle of the Q system where those like touch sensitive swipey dials, you'd like swipe up for volume and nothing would happen. You keep swiping, all of a sudden your volume is maxed out. This is a much better integration. But in terms of touchscreens, this might be one of the best industry. One of the best. It's easy to use, very intuitive. Music, nav, like, it, there's nothing complicated about it. You swipe through, you immediately know what you want to do. Set your ambient lighting, control rear media, your cameras. It's, it's very, very user friendly. You can flip the tab and it turns it into camera mode. And then you can also change your brightness. I can lower the brightness down, raise the brightness. I can zoom, I can zoom in. Hello tree, I want to see you more clearly, or zoom out. Um, we also change your positioning, obviously people are at different heights, so you can actually move that image up and down without actually moving the mirror itself. So that's pretty cool. I think we've covered most of the stuff up front. I am now going to hop in the back seats and show you guys some stuff back there. Before we do that, we must review the window sticker. 2021 Escalade four-wheel drive Platinum. So you can get the sport version, which blacks out all the trim and stuff. You can get the ESV, which is longer. Shadow metallic paint, whisper beige, and Gideon accents. It's got the 6.2 V8 with a 10-speed. There is a diesel available. Uh, but the Platinum price here starts at 102 995 so this is a six figure suv starting and with a couple options like night vision the side steps the refrigerator that's right here and we're at 109 500 as equipped hundred ten thousand dollar suv poor fuel economy because it's enormous <laughs> well i i haven't even gotten close to that number um sorry that's a lot more in fuel but you have a gigantic gigantic luxury vehicle I was asked on Instagram what my favorite part of the Escalade was, and I cheated and I said two, the OLED screens up front, this is an amazing infotainment system, and the sound system, without a single doubt. Those are the two of my favorite things right now. So we've got those side steps, very convenient getting in and out. We do have soft closed doors, just gently latch them, and it cinches shut. Back seats. Oh, actually, I don't think we did an exterior tour of the Escalade. I've been so just engrossed in the interior, so as we walk down the enormous length of this enormous vehicle. It's not even a long wheelbase. There's the front end, because this is the regular Platinum, we have the chrome finish on the grill. And the details in the lights, you see the Cadillac logo right there? That's really cool. That kind of line etching design, you see it on the inside too, the steering wheel, nice and bright. The DRL that descends down, cuts through the bodywork. It's kind of disconnected right there. And, it, and it's, it's big, like this badge is, Enormous. This is this is a watch in comparison to the size of that front badge. A lot of cameras everywhere. And then as we loop around to the side, 22 inch wheels for this Platinum. This is air suspension and it's raised ride height. So it's taller, more cameras underneath here and you'll get the projection of the Cadillac crest on the ground when it's night. And I'll show that again later. Very nice Cadillac branding that's been like stamped into this piece here. Open the rear doors and you get the side steps that come out. And then when we come around to the back, we can open the trunk by pressing that badge, which is just cool. You can also open it, I think it's because the car is running right now, but there's a little crest that would show that you can kick your foot and it would open and close. Uh, space is pretty good. Again, the ESV would add a lot more rear space. With the third row up, you can see cargo capacity isn't amazing for a vehicle of this size, but if you fold the seats down, I mean, it would be cavernous. You have more controls back here. Two fold seats down too, so I think left. Yep, there we go. Hit that, we'll close the trunk. Escalade badging. 600 refers to the torque figure in Newton meters, I believe. So just trying to find some sort of numeric figure to tie everything together. But this is cool, you, you press this. That's a button. I didn't know that first. I've been using the key fob this whole time. That's nifty. Rectangular big exhaust tips out back. They are actually the exhaust pass through, so win there because Audi decided they like to put fake things and the exhaust tip just go whoop before you hit the bumper. 
This thing is enormous. I would not want to keep fueling it up, but I will have to because it needs gas. On the buttons here, we have, that's the massage seat button. So that's the most important button. Adjust everything, your lumbar with this toggle and positioning and everything. Those scuff plates light up. AKG, they're new. I think this is the first time AKG has done an in-vehicle audio system. Prior to that, they're part of the Carmen, Harman group. And I think they just done like studio headphones and microphones and stuff like that. But this is the upgraded system and it sounds amazing, amazing. So. Uh, what were we doing? We're gonna hop inside. Oh yeah, more details too. Look at that, you got a Cadillac Crest in that tail light. Um, I'm trying to show it. Okay, back seats. Let's slide it all the way back so I have more leg room to show that. You have the huge screens. I think they're the largest in the industry for rear seat entertainment screens. With the seat all the way back, my leg room is excellent, quite good. Again, this front seat is right where I'd sit it. You have video control here, so USB with my gloves off the cup holder. We have uh, HDMI ports here, power, so you could like hook up, I don't know, PlayStation, a computer, a Blu-ray player. Heated seats in the second row, another little screen here with toggles. And the coolest thing here though, navigation. I can ask the driver up front to take me somewhere. Once it loads, you would be able to input an address. Let's just say, I want coffee. Where's Mike? My friend Mike likes coffee. Starbucks. And I can send it to the front. And look, address received for beer seat, Starbucks, accept or ignore. That's cool, very cool. But legroom and headroom is great in these second seats. They're just, they're not as comfortable. They're not as padded and sculpted as the front seats. But even as a six foot three adult, I would not complain. More speakers. You also have a third row. And because I'm trying to demonstrate how practical this vehicle is, I will move myself to the third row. Now, I tested out the third row in an SQ7, and I was not a happy camper. It just wasn't comfortable at all. All right, now, oh, I've got a headrest in my back. But let's see, this, this front seat, or this middle seat, is set all the way back, and I barely have leg room. So if I move it forward a little bit, you could spare an inch or two. I could be back here. I have headroom. This indent up here gives me plenty of headroom, actually. It's it's not, I wouldn't want to do like a 12 hour road trip in here, but for a short little stint, 100% doable. You could fit three people in the back and I would have my own little USB-C for fast charging. And then you get the trunk right behind you. And remember, this is the regular wheelbase. I have some fun numbers to share in the actual review of how the length of the Escalade compares to some of its competitors. Sneak peek, it's way bigger than like anything else. This is the plan. I am now going to film all the B-roll, do the review, in-car driving, in SUV driving, in land yacht driving, and then later today, I think we're gonna go get takeout for dinner. Uh, Andrew and Adrian are really excited to see this thing. We're gonna go get some food once it's light, or once it's dark out, and I will show you some of the kind of nighttime illumination features more. Like, there's a Cadillac Crest somewhere up front that lights up as you approach the car. The tail lights do the dance and everything, so it's a nice, holistic, luxury experience. So I will put this camera away now, grab the fancy camera, and go get some B-roll shots for the full review. It's late Thursday night, actually just past 10 p.m. I was feeling kind of antsy, so I took the Escalade out for a drive to relax and calm down. I uh, actually legitimately need to get a couple of exterior shots, interior shots of some of the lighting features, the puddle lamps, the, the way the headlights and stuff turn on, and the interior ambient lighting all along here. Got a couple of those shots for the review. This was a slightly shorter time with the vehicle than normal. Usually I get about a week with it. I will try to get another new Escalade, hopefully with Super Cruise and with the diesel. I really want to try out the Duramax and see what kind of better efficiency you can get because it makes the same amount of torque um, so I think that would be really awesome to experience the three liter turbo diesel in the brand new Escalade regardless I've actually really 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 impressed with this car here's the nighttime startup sequence for the new Escalade so we hit the unlock button get a couple flashes and then the front daytime running lights will pulse and then you get the headlights turn on we have the light strip underneath the side step here, and then the Cadillac logo being projected under the side view mirror. It's the same on the other side. Around back, the tail lights are fully on now. That little light right there is where you kick to open the rear tailgate. That is very cool. 
we can kick it again and it will close and then we will show you the dance that the rear tail lights do in a moment can unlock again there we go the very cool projection so let's lock the car now from around back this is what happens when you unlock it do the same thing check this out that's really cool that is very very cool I've actually become quite attached to this thing in the last couple of days. It's a massive luxury SUV and I don't need anything of this size. I don't even remotely, I don't even honestly need that my truck at that size. Um, but this thing is just so nice. Went and took it out to get uh, dinner takeout tonight and it was such a relaxing, comfortable cruise and sh talking about all the features to a friend and explaining everything that was in here. They were like, wow, this is very nice. I would love to see this as an indication of what Cadillac is gonna do to apply this type of technology, this interior these features this sound system into other vehicles like can we trickle down the Cadillac Escalade flagship stuff into sedans and smaller crossovers and things if they if they do that Audi BMW Mercedes anybody who's making luxury cars is going to have to be very concerned and they will also have to step their game up but curved OLED screens 36 speaker sound system without a doubt my favorite things comfortable to drive talked about all the other details i won't repeat them all over again i'm gonna go probably drive this around a little bit more get a couple shots hope you guys enjoyed this video appreciate all the support and we'll see you guys in the next vehicle that i'm in